It is the night of October the 31st, and Marie has been left alone with Blossom in her parents' attic. It's a dark and stormy night, and Marie is about to take Blossom for a walk, but she keeps getting interrupted. <laughs> Blossom, I'm going to take you out on a walk in a second, but right now I'm feeling alone and vulnerable in a way that makes me seem inappropriately sexy and not so much as scared as much as inviting myself to be attacked by an unknown evil. <gasps> Hello? Must just be the wind. Bring! Oh, who could that be? Everyone in town is at the big bonfire. We'll go out in a second, Blossom. Hello? Are you going to the big Halloween bonfire that's at that remote location that everyone's going to be at? including all the available fire and rescue teams? I'm going as a dancing starfish! No, I have social anxiety and I'm afraid of fire. Well, if you need anything, just call me on my cell phone that has limited range. What? What? Amy? What are you doing here? No. Are you okay? Hey honey, we're on our way to the Halloween bonfire. We just want to see if you're okay. Mom, Dad, I... Hey Maria, there's a serial killer on the loose. Uh, he's murdered five women in their late 30s with their companion dogs within blocks of our home. Okay, but something happened to Amy. Oh, what's that in the road? Oh, it looks like a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. We're twisting and turning. phone can't ring because I'm still on the phone. Oh, yes. Sorry. Of course. Who is this? Better check on the little dog you love so much. Mm. What? Blossom? Take your pet for a walk. Don't be so selfish. You killed me. You got me. You got me. You killed me.